It's all about the trichomes. You know those beautiful mushroom looking little crystals that develop on the cannabis plant? That contains all the active ingredients that we're interested in as human beings. So everyone is looking for maximum trichome production. How do we get more trichomes? That's a difficult question. Really, a lot of it is gonna come down to the environment. We certainly need to maintain the optimum environmental parameters. Uh, you know, not too hot, 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, lights on, 70 to 72 degrees, lights off. These are definitely important. Uh, making life as easy as possible on the plant, in other words, everything is optimum. This is going to allow the plant to fulfill its life process to its greatest possibilities. There are some products that we can use that have been developed to increase trichome production. To my understanding, there is an enzymic wheel within the plants that can be turned and spun a little harder to really drive trichome production. And there are a couple of products that are specifically aimed at this purpose. And to, the, to my knowledge, made from uh, plant extracts. So the plant kingdom is helping the plant kingdom. Terpenator, uh, distributed by Green Planet Nutrients, is a product we have traditionally used for this purpose. And newly out, Resin by Green Planet Nutrients is also going to stimulate this trichome production in a different way. So we could use both products in interchangeably or one after the other, depending on how we see fit. Another thing to really pay attention when it comes to trichomes is preserving trichomes. For example, in the drying process, if our temperature is too high, a lot of the essential oils and terpenes that we really want to preserve will volatize. So when I'm drying my cannabis, I like to drop the temp considerably. I'll drag it down to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe even 62 degrees to preserve those volatile organic compounds as much as possible. And of course, I will trim dry, that way I'm not damaging and losing trichomes that otherwise would have been there. So if you've ever heard someone say, oh, I had this great crop, but then it had no nose, it smelled like hay, you know, you will probably, upon further inquiry, find out that they dried that plant material in three days with dehumidifiers in the room and the temperature was up at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. In which case, a lot of those essential flavors and aromas that are all built up in the trichome are going to be volatized and that plant is going to lose a lot of its flavor and aroma. So, not only do we want to produce as much trichome as possible, we want to preserve that trichome and make sure it gets to the end user.